Hey everybody, in this video I'm going to show you how we can read a file using Java. After doing some research, there's three popular options. The first, and which I'll demonstrate in this video, is to combine a buffered reader and a file reader both together. This technique is best for reading text files line by line. Buffered reader can't read a file by itself. You can say that it acts as a middleman between the program and the file system. It helps us read files more efficiently. And a file reader is what actually reads the file. So we'll be using these two together, which I will demonstrate momentarily. Another technique is to use a file input stream, which is best for binary files, such as images and audio files. Then there's also random access file. That's best for reading or writing specific portions of a large file. So use this if you need to read something specific from a big file. In today's video, we're going to combine a buffered reader and a file reader together. But first, we need a file to work with. Pick a location where you would like to read this file from. For me, I'm going to create a file on my desktop. I will create a new text document. I'll name this test. And what should our file say? Think of something to write. So there's a poem that I like to use. Roses are red. Violets are blue. Booty, booty, booty. Rockin' everywhere. We will need the name of this file, including the file extension. I'm going to right click, go to properties. This file is a plain text file, a TXT file. I'm going to copy this location. I will create a string variable named file path equals, then within a set of quotes, because we're working with strings, I will paste that file path and include the file name, including the extension test.txt. Now we're going to be combining a buffered reader and a file reader together. First, we will create a buffered reader object. Buffered reader, we'll name this reader equals new buffered reader. We will need to import this class. Import java.io.bufferedreader. We can't create a buffered reader object without first passing in a reader object, which is why we'll be combining this with a file reader object. Within the constructor, we'll be passing in an object, a new file reader object. And then we do need to import this class too. Import java.io.filereader. Within the constructor of our file reader, we're going to pass in that file path, that string. When reading and writing files, you'll need try and catch blocks. You can see that Java is already giving us a warning. When working with files, it's considered dangerous code because you don't know if you'll actually locate that file or not, or reading or writing that file might be unsuccessful for some reason. We will use a try and catch block. Try this dangerous code, catch any exceptions. With modern Java, you can use with resources. We will add a set of parentheses after try copy the snippet of code where we create a buffered reader object, and then paste it within that set of parentheses. Remove the semicolon. When using try with resources, you'll automatically close this reader when you're done with it. We're going to catch any file not found exceptions within the catch block. So catch file not found exception. That's the type. We will give this exception a nickname of E within the parameter, and we do need to import this class as well import java.io.filenotfoundexception. If for some reason we can't locate this file at this file location, let's output the following. Could not locate file. To catch all other input output exceptions, we'll add another catch block. This will act as a safety net. We will catch any IO exceptions. IO exception we will give it a nickname of E. This is where we'll say something went wrong and import this class as well. Just temporarily within our try block, I'm going to output that file exists. So let's test it. That file exists. So that file is at this file location on my desktop. For some reason, if we can't locate that file, let's say that I misspelled desktop as desktop, run this again, 
Well, we get that exception, that file not found exception. Could not locate file. Let's make sure the file path is correct. Now here's how to actually read the file. Within our try block, let's create a local variable of line. We'll be reading our file line by line. Since we're reading this file line by line, we'll be using a while loop. During each cycle of the while loop, we're going to write the following within a set of parentheses. We're going to set our string of line equal to use our buffered reader object, call the read line method. We're taking our reader, reading the current line. This will return a string, which we're assigning to the string variable of line. After reading one line, our reader is going to point to the next line. However, if we run out of lines, the read line method is going to return null. So we're going to continue reading lines while line does not equal a value of null. Use the reader, read each line, assign it to this variable of line. If we run out of lines, if this is null, we'll escape the while loop. During each cycle of the while loop, we'll output each line. It's going to be a string. And now this should work. Let's test it. And here's our poem. Roses are red, violets are blue, booty, 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 rocking everywhere. So that's one way in which you can read a file using Java. You can combine a buffered reader and a file reader. It's best for reading text files line by line, but there's other methods you should be aware of too, such as file input stream and random access file. I'm not sure if I'll make videos on these yet. And well, everybody, that's how to read a file using Java.